Hello everyone, welcome back to the subject electromagnetic field theory. This is the last video from the chapter number 5 conductors and dielectrics and we are going to solve the last problem based on to the boundary condition between two perfect dielectric materials. As like in the previous video we have solved problem number 3 we are also given here the electric flux density vector and we are supposed to calculate some normal tangential components the vector representation of the polarization in one of the medium one or two and the angle so let us see problem number four so here we have the problem statement let the region z less than zero be composed of uniform dielectric material for which epsilon r is equal to 3.2 the region z greater than zero is characterized by epsilon r is equal to 5 let d1 bar is equal to minus 50 ax cap plus 90 ay cap plus 60 az cap nano coulomb per meter square find dn2 bar dt2 bar d2 bar p2 bar and the angle theta after reading the problem statement you may come to know that the given situation for the problem number 4 is the same that was in problem number 3 but the things to calculate are different here we are required the vector form of normal component of electric flux density in medium number 2 here the vector form of tangential component of electric flux density in medium 2 the vector representation of electric flux density in medium 2 whereas we are provided the representation in medium 1 that was not there in the problem number 3 and here we require the polarization in medium 2 and the angle theta made by the vector representation d2 bar with the normal component dn2 bar so that angle we have to determine so we can come to know that everything is given that is for medium 1 and we are supposed to calculate the things for medium 2 so for that purpose we take the help from boundary conditions and we start with the solving part a to part e so here again we take the help of diagram <coughs> So diagram will be having z axis perpendicular to the boundary. So boundary surface is our z is equal to 0 plane which is also called as xy plane. This region that is z greater than 0 characterized by epsilon r is equal to 5. So I mention it epsilon r2 and z less than 0 is given by epsilon r is equal to 3.2 I mentioned it epsilon r1 so this is medium 1 medium 2 and we have the representation of d1 bar is equal to minus 50 ax cap plus 90 ay cap plus 60 az cap in nano coulomb per meter square as the given data <coughs> now let us solve part a so for part a we require dn2 bar dn2 bar is equal to what we have dn we have d1 bar okay now here we take the help from boundary conditions according to the boundary condition dn2 bar is nothing but dn1 bar okay now we require dn1 bar then we have only the d1 bar representation so d1 representation is minus 50 ax cap plus 90 ay cap plus 60 az cap now this is the boundary boundary is z is equal to zero plane so perpendicular directions that are normal directions are plus az cap or minus az cap hence out of these three terms this component is normal component whereas these two components involve ax cap and ay cap that are line into the z equal to 0 that is xy plane hence these are the tangential components so we substitute the dn bar here so dn bar will be equal to 60 az cap given in nano coulomb per meter square now dn2 bar dn2 bar will be equal to 60 az cap nano coulomb per meter square by using the boundary condition so this is the required answer for part a dn2 bar 
from the boundary condition will be 60 AZ cap nanocoulomb per meter square. Now we require DT2 bar. Now from the vector representation of DT2 bar. Now we have the relationship between the electric flux density and electric field intensity. So for medium to we use that particular relationship and we write DT2 bar is equal to epsilon 2 into ET2 bar. Why because? Because we know that the tangential component of electric flux density is not continuous across the boundary whereas the tangential component of electric field intensity is continuous across the boundary. Hence according to the boundary condition ET1 is equal to ET2 we can substitute. Hence the right hand side will be epsilon 2 into ET1 will come in place of ET2. Now ET1 we can write in the form of DT1 hence it will be epsilon 2 upon epsilon 1 we take out from the ET1 and this will be DT1 bar. Now in the diagram we have already judged the tangential component to be minus 50 AS cap plus 90 AY cap. So in this place we write the epsilon 0 into epsilon R2 upon epsilon 0 into epsilon R1 dt1 will be in bracket minus 50 ax cap plus 90 ay cap and that to in nano coulomb per meter square so epsilon 0 epsilon 0 will get cancelled we put the values here it will be phi u upon 3.2 in multiplication with minus 50 ax cap plus 90 ay cap nano coulomb per meter square so final representation of D2 bar D2 bar will be equal to minus 78.125 AX cap plus 140.625 AY cap given in nano coulomb per meter square. So this is the required answer for part B. So part B, D2 bar we have determined minus 78.125 AX cap plus 140.625 AY cap nano coulomb per meter square. Now we require D2 bar. So D2 bar can be obtained by simple addition of these two. So for part C, we will be making that addition. So D2 bar will be equal to D2, DT2 bar plus DN2 bar. So we can make it minus 78.125 AX cap plus 140.625 AY cap plus 60 AZ cap. So this is the answer and we can put nano coulomb per meter square to be the unit. So this is D2 bar. So part C is also over. Now in part D we are required to find P2 bar that is polarization in medium 2. So for part D, for determination of P2 bar that is polarization, we take the relation that is epsilon R2 minus 1 upon epsilon R2 in multiplication with D2 bar or we can put epsilon 2 into E2 bar also. So now epsilon r2 is phi u so this will be phi u minus 1 upon phi u in multiplication with d2 bar so that d2 bar is minus 78.125 phi u ax cap plus 140.625 phi u ay cap plus 60 az cap. So this is simply 4 upon phi u. 4 upon 5 multiplied to each and every term of this vector representation will give us the required P2 bar. So after multiplying 4 by 5 to each and every term, we get it to the form minus 62.5 AX cap plus 112.5 AY cap plus 48 AZ cap unit of measurement is nano coulomb per meter square. So this is the required answer for the polarization in medium number 2 for part D.
Now we, we are required to solve the last part that is the angle theta 2. So for angle theta 2, we again take the help of tan inverse ratio. So for part E, we have theta 2 is equal to tan inverse dt2 upon dn2. So here we are required to substitute the magnitudes of dt2 and dn2 and that we can do as a part of answer of part B and answer of part A. So this answer gives us 69.54.58 degrees. So this is theta 2. So this way we are solved with all the values that were asked to be found for the given situation of the boundary. So here we complete the topic boundary condition for perfect dielectric materials and the chapter conductors and dielectrics. I hope you have understood the behavior of conductors, semiconductors and the dielectric materials in the presence of electric field. Here the representations were electric field intensities or electric flux densities for solving the problems. For getting more information on to the electromagnetic field theory subject, you can subscribe to Ikeda channel. In the subsequent lecture, we are starting with the new chapter that is capacitance. Thank you.